We are in south of France at Cannes and one French man whom I was really looking forward to meet is Maurice Levy. Considering that you know the amount of conversations that are going on on Crosset because of publicists pulling out of 2018 Cannes Lions. Maurice, I have to begin this interview by asking you, what do you think of the decision? I love that decision and I am fully supporting uh, Arthur's Arthur Sadoun with the new CEO uh, is following on my steps and, and uh, I think he made the right decision which is to pause because uh, there, there is on the one hand something that we have to do which is the development of a new app which I believe will uh, change quite dramatically the way agencies will work and particularly ours. And this is an app which will be powered by artificial intelligence and which will help greatly the creative people to participate to a lot of work around the world. So that's one aspect. But the second aspect that can is um, moving to a territory which I believe is important to, to, to tell the people who are running can, okay, you should think a little bit uh, about uh, the worries that we as uh, advertising agency have because can is above all and first and foremost about work yeah. and the celebration of great work. And what do we see in Cannes today is a lot of festivities, a lot of events, a lot of seminars, discussions, uh, like a marketplace, like a fair. It's, we are not in a fair. We are in, in a city that we love and we love uh, the Cannes Lion and we love what Ascension is doing and we want them to see that they should come back to the core of what Cannes is all about, which is creativity and celebrating great work. And the last aspect is that uh, with uh, everything which is happening and with the people with deep pocket who don't count the money, when we advertising agencies are put uh, uh, on, on the front line by our client to cut our costs, to cut our fees, etc. We need to be mindful and can lion have to be mindful of the cost. So there, there is three different aspects. One is uh, using that money to, uh, and not only can, but every single festival, uh, using that money for uh, developing that uh, app. And it's a, a good thing because it will help the creative work. The second is to say, hey, hey, oh, oh pause. Pause, please. Think about the work. And last but not least, think about the cost. Yeah, but it's not just the can. It is, uh, you know, awards and trade shows around the world that, uh, you know, Sardon has forbidden his agencies from participating in. What do you think of that? And don't you think it will be demotivating for the talent within your own agency, especially the creative talent? I, I think that... Uh, we, we should look at the creative talent for what they are. And they are, above all, very great, intelligent people who understand the business, who understand uh, uh, the work, and who love to be celebrated, and who love the competition for the greatest work. So what we are telling them is, uh, guys and girls, what we see coming in the industry and happening in the industry is a deviation from uh, the core idea of celebrating the work, celebrating the creativity and rewarding the great work. So you should help us bringing back all these awards to what they should be about, which is a great competition of the best work in order that your work is celebrated and you receive the right award. It's one year. It's not that we are saying we are not going anymore to celebrate uh, the, the work. And we will celebrate inside uh, our company, uh, the work. So there is no, I, I don't believe that uh, uh, after the first emotion that this will lead to 
a huge problem. I think that Arthur Sadoun has made the right decision and uh, I support it. Uh, they believe it's the, the right path. And by the way, once again, you will see that we are leading the path. And you will see that people will think about pulling out or there will be a renegotiation. Do you, do you suspect a domino effect? You know, do you think that other agencies and networks will follow the suit? I don't know if they will stop coming. I think that what they will do is certainly to bring the issue on the table and that there will be some serious discussion about this. And I think that what we are doing today by revolutionizing the work and the way we are operating and changing our own organization, moving to power of one, etc. All this is extremely positive. It is not only well accepted by most of our people, but it is also extremely well accepted by our client. And we gain the support of our client. They understand what the situation is all about. They understand that we have to transform our business. They understand that uh, we need to help them growing their business and we have to bring ideas that will change the course of action. They will grow, they will win market share, all these thanks to great work. And we will be rewarded for that. So I feel extremely enthused, uh, not only about the decision, but the meaning behind the decision. So uh, do you think the timing was right? Because, you know, we are at Cannes. Yours is a French company. Um, why on a Tuesday in Cannes? There is no good timing for any decision which is creating a problem. But, but it's much better to do it in Cannes when everyone is here so they can speak about the, they, they can speak about uh, the decision, they can dispute it, they can discuss it, they can argue about it, and it is an open discussion. It's not something which is hidden. And there is a coincidence, which is uh, just uh, the timing. Uh, Arthur Sadoun uh, has been uh, uh, taking, taking office on June 1st. He had his seminar with uh, the large uh, uh, management group uh, in, uh, on Saturday, 17th of June. And he has made the announcement on Monday. Uh, so it's uh, something which is just a coincidence of time. Uh, he, if he had taken office on July 1st, maybe he would have done it on Bastille Day. Yeah. So uh, I think it's uh, just a coincidence. It was not meant to hurt Khan. We love Khan Lion. There was, should be no mistake about that. We love the celebration of great work. We don't like where it's going to now. Uh, and I believe that it is in the interest of everyone that uh, can is again about great work. Do you think there was an alternative way to achieve cost synergies, um, as Sadon mentioned, rather than stepping away from awards? This is, you know, uh, it, the cost is a, a side effect. It, it's not the reason for the decision. Uh, the, the reason for the decision uh, and to have some impact on the decision is to really uh, look at the thing and say, OK, we, we see that things are changing in our industry. We, we see a lot of changes. And uh, either we accept that uh, we are uh, deviating, drifting from the heart of what we were doing. Uh, or we say, hey guys, uh, don't forget that we are here for creativity. And let's come back or go back to creativity, uh, which is what is at the heart of Cannes. And, and uh, I don't want that uh, uh, the people who are listening to us are uh, mistaken. It's not only about, uh, okay, doing some cost savings because what we have to, to save is not that huge. It is also philosophically what we are expecting from this. And the philosophy is very strong because uh, uh, 
an agency is not a tech company. So we obviously are backed by tech, tech and we develop platforms, websites, a lot of work which is digital and tech. But above all, what we are, it's an idea company. We generate ideas that transform the business of our clients. That is what we do. And those ideas must be celebrated. Yeah. And this is what has to be king in Cannes, above everything.